and this football team with the staff. Hey, Royce, Rob Mosley with Go Ducks. Uh, your, the the uh, tweet of your, your big squat obviously made the rounds. Uh, what kind of gains tangibly did you make in the weight room uh, this summer? How much stronger, better do you feel, and how do you feel like that's going to help you? I think it will help me as far as staying more healthy completely throughout the season. I mean, of course, during football, there's a lot of unexpected things that come up. But just trying to prehab and strengthen a lot of things, I feel, helped me on the field. Uh, I mean, as far as 600, I mean, once you get like that high, there's no reason to just keep going. So, I mean, shout out to Coach O and the, the strength staff for just keeping me healthy and just working on just working on the little things so we make sure I can play a complete season. Justin Jenberly from the Oregonian. Uh, just talk about the differences between entering year one and year two, and um, how valuable was it to have a whole off season dedicated to only football. Um, overall, they're, they're, they're pretty similar. I think uh, having to learn a new offense in, in a short amount of time has, has been pretty similar. And it's, uh, it's helped going through that last year. But uh, other than that, uh, I think having it a year under my belt has, has been greatly, has just helped me a bunch. Um, just, just being out there with the guys and having a year with them and uh, being more comfortable with them has, has helped a bunch. Justin in the back, Sky Muller, cave out. Looks like the arms have gotten a little bigger over the offseason. Coach Taggart says you're walking around without the shirt on, a little more confidence. Do you do you feel like you, you got a little more swagger in the step, a little more confident around the guys? Um, I think a little more confident. I think uh, maybe that story was over-exaggerated a little bit, but uh, um, I think just being around the guys, it's been a lot of fun so far. Justin, Paul Dan's of Portland Tribune. Talk about the process of learning new terminology. Um, that aspect of it, what have you done to help other guys and how has that process unfolded for you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a challenge for sure, but uh, just spending as much time as we can in the film room has been, uh, has been really helpful. I think uh, having a year like last year where we've had to learn it in, in a short amount of time has, has helped this year. And so uh, just being out there with the guys and, and talking with them and learning from them has, has helped as well. Uh, Joe Becker from K2 TV in Portland. Uh, this is for all three of you guys. Uh, Coach has so much excitement and uh, joy in the game. Um, what have you guys thought about him s since he got here, and what are you most impressed with? And is he like this all the time? Yes, he is like this all the time. Uh, that's Willie. No, I'm playing. That's Coach Taggart. Uh, Coach Taggart and his staff uh, bring energy every day, and they require the same out of us. And that's just put on the shoulders of us as leaders and a lot of the players on this team to come with the energy and uh, try to match it and to see where it could take this football team. Yeah, like Roy said, I agree with 100% what he just said. Coach Taggart brings a lot of energy every day to the building, whether it's talking about football or just life itself. He just wants you to be enthusiastic about everything you do and just do everything 100% and just have fun while doing it. Is he this funny all the time, though? Oh, definitely, yes. He always has jokes ready for us, and uh, he, he likes to let them let go and crack them off and see if he gets a couple laughs out of us. Sometimes they're hit or miss, so it just depends on how the joke is. Rick Morgan, DuckNews.com, is for uh, Troy. Uh, a lot of eyes are going to be on the defense this year after the struggles of last year, and you as a returning sophomore are going to have to take on some of a leadership role with that. I was wondering how much how prepared are you for that, and where do you see your contributions in that area as having the biggest impact the quickest? I think Coach Lev has done a great job of just trying to get all the guys on the same page, whether it's myself, A.J. Hodgkins, Henry Mondu, Jimmy Swain, Arion Springs, Tyree Robinson. There's a bunch of guys on this defense that can step up and be the leader. It doesn't, doesn't have to just be me. I mean, there's a bunch of seniors on this team that are really passionate about this game. So, I mean, we're all just trying to follow each other and make each other better to just improve on last season's defense and just better ourselves as a team and as a defense and as a unit. So uh, we're just all trying to buy into Coach Levitt's philosophies and really just listen to what he has to say and uh, just go from there and just really buy into his plan. Royce, Justin's a little too humble. Have you seen more confidence in your quarterback? And does he walk around without his shirt on? Yeah, I've seen Justin grow a lot. I mean, he's just is giving off a lot of confidence, especially uh, to the rest of the players to show uh, that he's that guy. Uh, I mean, we're definitely following behind him and 
we trust in him fully. Uh, he's walking around the facility every day with a shirt off, eating meals with a shirt off. I mean, we're trying to beg him just to please put a shirt on. But, uh, you know, you do what you want when you pop in, and, uh, you know, we're just all fully behind Justin. For Royce, uh, back here, I know there's plenty of guys who can carry the ball, so what are you looking forward to the most about how coaches will divvy up and use that depth? I think with a new coaching staff, these guys are getting fresh eyes of what everybody can do. I mean, and especially since we've been working on different things, even during the off season, trying to add different things to our arsenal. So I, I feel the same as you. I think it'll be interesting in seeing uh, how the coaching staff utilizes the different running backs in our core because, I mean, we have a second to none uh, in our backfield. Hey guys, Nicole Brown with Gridiron Girl. I know it's pretty early. This, this is a question for all of you guys, but um, at this point in the game, um, looking at this team, what would be one word you would each describe the team as at this point? You said one word to describe. One word to describe this team. This whole team? Yep. I, Coach Tiger's done a great job of bringing us together as a family. That's one way I'll explain it compared to last year. We're more of a family. So I think that's a, that's a big you and guys are starting to come together and we're really starting to bond as a family. Yeah. I would say please? energetic. Energetic for, for this team. That's a new attitude that we have to bring. Yeah, I would, I would agree with what Troy said. I think uh, we've done a great job of coming together. and There are things that we do outside of football that that get us close to each other and, and comfortable with each other. AC Coleman, 750 the game. Troy, can you talk a little bit about the difference in the defense this year compared to last year, and especially going from the 4-3 to the 3-4? Uh, there, there's minor changes from the 4-3 to the 3-4, so just your down linemen are just different. You, know, you have different fronts, different odds, so you have to play the run game differently. But I just think the overall difference from last year to this year is just the energy and the enthusiasm that Coach Lever brings out. And it just brings out more enthusiasm and energy out of the players as well. Because if you see a guy like him at his age every morning out there running around yelling, you have nothing but you have no other choice but to match that energy and go out there and play for the man who is really excited to be out there. So I mean, that's, that's probably one of the biggest things that guys have really shifted over is they've really bought into what Coach Levitt is talking about and we're really excited and uh, getting ready to roll. Royce, uh, have you thought about the rushing record at all this year? No, I don't really think about anything statistical. I mean, I feel like if I go out there and perform the best that I can and the best that I'm capable of, um, everything else will come. What was the biggest reason that you had for coming back? Uh, first and foremost, I was really close to graduating, so I finished that up this summer. Just finished up my last class and received my degree. So. Uh, something that, that I valued highly. And then just coming back and finishing on a better note than I did last year, um, something that was a, a personal vendetta I had, and going out there and just trying to leave my best product out there with one year of eligibility left. You guys all came here, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys all came here with Oregon at the top of its game, coming here to win national championships. You've seen the media poll. <clears throat> What's it gonna take, I gotta need water. What's it gonna take for you guys to get back to that top, man, to have guys behind you and you guys leading the way to get back to the, where Oregon wants to be. Well, well, I think uh, we just have to listen to the guys that have been there. We've got multiple guys on our team that have, have been in a national championship game and have, have played there. And we've got coaches who've coached in big games, and I think they know what it takes, and, and the players that we have do too. And so I think just listening to them and following the game plan, is, it'll, it'll get us there. Jesse Price with DuckNews.com. Um, how important is the team or togetherness aspect to you guys off the field? And how do you think that's changed from last year? I feel like it's a big, uh, big key to translating onto the field. Because if you can trust a guy off the field and just really get to know him as a person, as an individual, you can really trust him and know that he's going to be there for you on the field regardless of the situation. And I think Coach Tagger and this staff has done a great job of just making sure we're always together off the field and just coming up with little cool things that we go do. Like he got the pool thing for us, and we took the whole team to the pool. That was pretty cool. I mean, we're in the dorms right now. The whole team's in the dorms. I mean, it's kind of cool just to see who's who and just get to know everybody on a personal level and really get to know where they're from and their background and know about their family and stuff like that. Royce, um, two questions. First of all, what was your major? What did you major in? I majored in a general social science emphasis, crime law society. And the second question, you seem kind of 
cheerful and light, is that kind of a product of Willie Taggart, or is that maybe a product of maturity? Why do you seem so comfortable? Uh, I feel like I just got to be comfortable in my own skin. I mean, I'm a senior. I've been here before. Uh, I've seen it all. Been the national championship, etc. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just. I had to figure out if I would be happy enough to come back and bring this environment that uh, Coach Tagger did to for me to be around. I feel more than comfortable being around these guys and playing beside them. And that was a huge reason to me coming back. So, I mean, I have no complaints. Yes, uh, Justin, Sam Finley, uh, Eugene Magazine. I got two questions for you. The first is uh, everybody's talking about how you seem to have become more vocal, maybe a little more assertive. How did you go about doing that? And then on a second and a completely different note, uh, you obviously played your high school ball here, grew up here. What does it mean to, uh, to play for the University of Oregon, and did you always want to be a duck growing up? Mm -hmm. I think just, just realizing that the quarterback has to, he has to step up. There's the team that needs to be led, and um, Coach Taggart and I have talked about how how I need to step up and be more vocal and um, for the better of the team. And so I um, I put my own my own uh, shyness away, and I've I've tried to come out a little more and, and talk. But uh, I think uh, growing up in Eugene, I know how important Oregon football is to all the Duck fans. And so I think just just always being around here, I know how important it is. I know how important the rivalries are. And, um, I really understand that from a like a fan perspective, and so playing playing duck football has always been a dream of mine. Royce, um, I'm just curious. In the weight room this summer, what were some things you focused on that were maybe different from previous years to help you stay healthy or whatever? Did you change up the way you attack the weight room? Anything specific you did differently to prepare for this? I think Coach O and the strength staff just focused on different things. I feel like as far as making sure we were strengthened enough for a whole season because, like I said before, football is a grueling game and uh, running back is, is no exception. So I feel like they've done a great job of just helping me strengthen myself to lean towards durability for this season. Justin, you went to the Manning Passing Academy this summer. How much did that help with confidence and becoming more of a leader, being around all those guys? Yeah, a lot. I, I learned a lot from the Mannings, and they, they kind of talked about how a quarterback should carry themselves. And I think just experience around them and around other top-tier quarterbacks who, who, were, who were there, like Sam Darnold and Jake Browning and those guys. And uh, I think just being around them and, and kind of kind of learning from them how, how they carry themselves and, and uh, what a quarterback should be like, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of good stuff. How much of an adjustment has that been for you, for everyone? Wanting you come out of your shell and this and that. I mean, what's the adjustment been like for you to take on a bigger role? Yeah, it's been, it's been a fast change. I think uh, last year, I think uh, I didn't do a great job of being vocal or, or, or talking very much. And so I think it, it kind of hurt us from a, a strategy standpoint. I think I, I didn't have the comfortability to go to, uh, to the offensive linemen or, or the running backs or the receivers, but I think just being co more comfortable with them now, I think, has, uh, has been super helpful because I can go to them and they, they come to me anytime. Okay, last question, and then we'll let everybody break out. Justin, Coach Taggart said he thought you might have been intimidated by him when, when he first got here. Is that true, and has that gone away? Not, uh, I don't know. Coach Taggart, is, uh, he's, he's an awesome guy, and so I, I can't wait to play for him. But. Uh, I think it was still at a point where I was pretty shy, and so I, I just think I wasn't very talk, talking very much back then. So I think he might have got that, that feeling, but I don't think so. Great. Thanks, guys.